Hi, YouTube family. Welcome to Peggy Joe's Kitchen and welcome to my channel. I hope all is doing well today. Today, I will be making a pineapple pecan upside down bread pudding made with buttery croissants and topped with a vanilla cream sauce. Yeah, I know that's a mouthful. If you've never had uh, bread pudding with, made with croissants, you're in for a treat. Stay tuned and I'll show you all the ingredients that you'll need to make this recipe. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you'll need to make this bread pudding. You will need 15 croissants and you need to break the croissants up into pieces like this. You'll need six eggs and all my eggs are at room temperature. You'll also need a quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of the rum extract, a half a teaspoon of the vanilla butter and nut flavoring, a half a, a half of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I have it here in this ramekin. And then you will need one teaspoon of cinnamon, and that is also, I have uh, the cinnamon and the nutmeg in the same ramekin. And then you'll need a cup and a half of whole milk and one cup of chopped pecans. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. making our custard and I'm going to put the custard in this bowl here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and chop up some pineapple and we need one cup of pineapple. Okay, so I have my pineapple chopped. I'm going to put that aside. And we'll work on our eggs. All right, let's go ahead and crack our eggs. All right, let's go ahead and get our eggs mixed up. Mix them pretty good. Let's go ahead and switch out to my whisk. And we're going to add the milk. And this is one and a half cup of whole milk. We're making our custard. Now we're going to go ahead and put our sugar. 
and this is a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. And we have all our flavorings, all our extracts in one ramekin. And now we're gonna put our nutmeg and cinnamon. Whisk that in. Okay, and now we have a one cup of chopped pecans. We're gonna put those in. All right, let's set that aside for right now. And we'll, we have one more croissant that I need to break up. And the croissants need to be uh, kind of on the stale side for this recipe. All right, now we're gonna incorporate our pineapple into the custard. And that's one cup. All right, now it's time to go ahead and put our custard. On top of the croissant. All right. Let's get a spoon. Mix this custard in into our croissants. And you want the custard to soak into the croissants well. And we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll move on with the rest of the recipe. Okay, so this is the next part of the recipe. You'll need one cup of brown sugar and one stick of butter. And then we're gonna put eight slices of um, pineapple down into to our brown sugar and butter mixture. And then in the middle of each pineapple, we'll put a cherry. So I'll bring you back and show you that. And um, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and we're going to bake this for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so I have my cast iron skillet, and I'm going to go ahead in with my stick of butter. And get that melted up. And then once it's melted, then we will add our brown sugar. Okay, so now the butter is melted. We'll go ahead and put in one cup of brown sugar. And I'm using dark brown sugar. Let's get that mixed up really good.
Go ahead and turn our skillet off. Go ahead and take it off the burner. Make sure you get all the lumps out of your sugar. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our pineapple. And this is fresh pineapple, so they're kind of tender. Let's just go ahead and do six pineapple instead of eight. But this pan will take eight. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put our cherries down in the center of your pineapple. Okay, so now it's time to put our bread pudding mixture in our skillet. Let's just cover the pineapples. Try to spread it out evenly over your pineapple. And it's going to make a really beautiful crust around the edges with that butter. Okay, so it's ready to go in a 400 degree oven. And I'm going to put it in the middle, on the middle rack. Okay, so it's time to make our vanilla cream sauce. Okay, so you'll need one quarter cup of whole milk. A half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Let that, let, you're gonna let that come up to a little simmer. Half a cup of white granulated sugar. Okay, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so one tablespoon of vanilla extract.
And then we'll add one tablespoon of cornstarch. the cornstarch into the mixture. And it should start to thicken up shortly. Okay, so it's getting really thick. Go ahead and turn the heat off. And this is what you want. Okay, let's check our bread pudding and see what it's looking like. Okay, we're gonna let it go for another 10 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and take it out of the oven now. Ooh, that's very, very, very hot and heavy. Okay, so this is what it looks like fresh out of the oven. It's still bubbling. We'll wait for about 20 minutes before we sp spoon down in it and dish up some of this decadent dessert. So you want to take your fork and go around the sides of it and kind of loosen it up a little bit. And you can feel the crusty edges. All right. Okay, so it's time to dish it up. Oh, we <laughs> it's like candy. Okay. I'll put a little vanilla sauce on it. And there it is. Put a little powdered sugar on it. And voila. There you have it. Pineapple croissant bread pudding with pecans. Okay, now it's time to taste it.
Let's see what we're working with. Mm, mm, mm. There. This will knock your sweet tooth right out of your mouth. This is so good. Man, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I upload my next video. Have a good day. Bye.